In this lecture, we will learn how we can implement multiple interfaces for a class and also how we can extend an interface. So let's go to VS Code. And again, I'm going to use the code from our previous lectures. So in here, we have one interface called this user interface. Let's create one more interface. And to create an interface, we use interface keyword and let's call this interface roles. And what we want is in this roles interface, we want to have a method, let's say get role, which is going to return us a string value. Okay, and it is not going to take any parameter. Now, currently our admin class, it is only implementing from this user interface. But let's say we also want this admin class to inherit from this roles interface. So after implements keyword, we are specifying user. We can use a comma like this, and then we can specify another interface from where we want to implement the admin class. So here, I also want to implement the roles interface for this admin class. Now, when this admin class is implementing from multiple interfaces, in this case, two interfaces, this class will have to implement all the properties and methods from both of these interfaces. We are already implementing the properties and methods from this user interface inside this admin class. Now, we also need to implement the methods and properties from this roles interface inside this admin class. Now, in the role interface, we only have one method which we have to implement here. So let's go ahead and let's implement that. And we want to implement get role. So let's say if the instance is of type admin, then the role is going to be admin. But if the instance is, let's say, member, in that case, the role is going to be member. So from here, we are going to return the role as admin. And now we have also implemented the method from the roles interface. And now you will see that that error is gone. So let's save the changes. Let's scroll down. And currently, this member class, it is only inheriting from this user interface. It is not inheriting from the roles interface. So this member class, it has to implement only the members of this user interface. But here also, if I go ahead and if I say that this member class should also inherit from roles interface, then I'll also have to implement the methods and properties of this role interface in this member class. But I'm not going to do that. Okay, so in this way, we can also inherit from multiple interfaces like we are doing here. Here we have implemented only two interfaces, but we can have more than two interfaces. We can have multiple interfaces, which we can implement for a class. We can also extend an interface. So here, let me remove this role interface and let's also remove this get role method from here. So what we can do is we have this user interface. Okay. So this user interface can also extend other interface. Here I can say this user interface extends roles interface. This is also possible. Now here, if you notice here, I'm not using implements keyword here. I'm using extends keyword because we want to extend this user interface. So we want this user interface to have all the methods and properties which we have declared inside the roles interface. And let me put this role interface before this user interface. Okay. So now when we are going to implement this user interface, it will have these properties and these methods, and it will also have this get role method because this user interface is extending this roles interface. So whichever class is going to implement this user interface, it will have to implement all its properties and methods. Plus, since this user interface is extending the roles interface, that class will also have to implement the properties and methods of this roles interface, the properties and methods which we have declared inside this roles interface. And that's why you will see that here we have an error because in the admin class, which is implementing this user interface, we are already implementing all the properties and methods of this user interface, but we are not implementing the method of this roles interface. So since this user interface is extending this roles interface, when we are implementing this user interface, we will also have to implement the methods and properties of roles interface. So again, 
here let's go back and let's add that method get role and from here since here it is going to be called on an instance of admin class we are going to return role as admin okay you can define this method by yourself in your own way but here i want to keep things simple so i'm simply going to return admin from here and this member class also is inheriting from this user interface and this user interface it is extending the roles interface so in this member class also we will have to implement the methods of this roles interface so we need to implement this get role method in the member class also so let's go ahead and let's implement that and from here let's simply return member okay now let's scroll down so here on the admin let's go ahead and let's call get role now keep in mind that this admin it is of type user this admin here it is of type user and inside this user interface we are not defining get roles method we have the greet user method and get full name method but we do not have get roles method but since this user interface is extending this roles interface on this user interface also we can call this get role method because this get role method will be available for this user interface also and that's why we are able to call it here on the user interface then here we are creating an instance of member class so this member variable it is going to store an instance of member class let's go ahead and let's call member dot get role and let's log the value which this get role method will return let's save the changes and you see here the role is member and let's also console.log this line okay so here the role is admin when we are calling it on this admin instance and here when we are calling it on the member instance the role is member so in this way we can also extend an interface like we are doing here we are extending this user interface and currently we are only extending with roles but we can also specify multiple interfaces which this interface should extend so for example let's say we have another interface called new interface or something like that so we can also extend that interface in that case whichever class will inherit from this user interface it will have to provide the implementation for all the members of the user interface it will also have to provide the implementation of all the members of the roles interface and it will also have to provide the implementation for all the members of this new interface so in this way we can also extend to multiple interfaces all right let me remove this because we don't have that interface created so this is how we can extend an interface now here as i mentioned earlier a class can implement multiple interfaces so we saw that we implemented user interface and roles interface for this admin class so we can implement multiple interfaces but always remember that a class can only extend a single class it cannot extend multiple classes in case of interface an interface can extend multiple interfaces but a class cannot extend multiple classes it can extend only single class it cannot extend multiple classes but it can implement multiple interfaces this is very important point to understand so this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day